Ustedes fueron creados por un propósito. You were created for a purpose. And it's not by chance that you are here today at the foot of the Creator. Let us go now to the universe of your essence to discover what exists there, what is eternal, perpetual, and infinite, what nothing nor no one can dissipate from where you emerged to come here to Earth to fulfill the project of love and redemption. Place your attention Place your attention in the center of your being and enter with me to the universe of your essence so that you may find yourselves with God, so that you may renew your purpose, so that you may continue walking until you fulfill companions, the goal that God has placed in you. Look within your essence. Contemplate it with great love and feel the original source that exists within you and how the spiritual love, light of my love, penetrates the deepest layers of the consciousness to lift you, to transcend you, to place you in the hands of God on this night where the inner light lights up through the intercession of my sacred heart. Observe your essences. Discover within yourselves the only truth which will make you free from this captivity, from this planetary prison, from all mistakes. I come to seek tonight the essence of your hearts, what existed once at the beginning, as a conscious conscience and energy. Let us return to your origins. I came here tonight to take you to that place where you began, where you began to have life, spiritual life. Almic and physical. Your essences have been traveling throughout time, realizing this path towards redemption. Look within your essences, in the most intimate of your hearts, the Creator Source of God, which renews you, which heals you, and gives you redemption. Let us return to the origin, 
to the beginning of everything, when our eternal Father, from the highest dimensions, with His greatest grades of love, thought about creating creatures so similar to Him, just as you are in these times. Remember, children, that you are children of God, that you are children of life, that you are children of love, that come from an existence which has never died, which perpetuates and is eternal and very sublime. Return to your essence and ask your inner self, what is it that you want from me, Father? Quietude. Quietude. What is everything? Quietude. Do not interrupt what I am doing. I, can, I have come here to lift you to God so that you may be a part of what is existen exis existential and infinite. Return your attention to the essence of your love. That which emerged from the source, which has lived many experiences to be able to come here and say yes to redemption. Today, I come to dissipate the forces of contradiction because where love is present, God is. And your hearts are in God, just as God can be within you. Let us go now to the origin of what you truly are. So that you may know how you were created in the beginning, before being souls, before being spirits, so that you may know how you were when you were essences in the source of the love of God, together with the Creator Fathers, the Archangels, from where you emerged, from where millions of lives emerged for this universe. It is thus, companions, that you are not here alone today. The whole universe is present. All existence and all life through my sacred heart. Be brave, penetrate this mystery that my heart concedes to you today so that you may know consciously. Look 
see yourselves as beings in love. Vejam-se como seres no amor. E sigam adelante. And continue forward. Atravessando estes tempos. Traversing these times. Superando todos os obstáculos. Surpassing all obstacles. Elevando sua consciência hacia o Criador. Raising your consciousnesses to the Creator. Kneel before me. In an act of reconciliation through my sacred heart, retornemos a la vida. Let us return to life. To what you have always been. Come with me to the source of creation. And find there your essences. What is pure? What has no suffering? What is eternal and invincible? Before, before the eyes of your Creator. Look within yourselves and seek the sphere of your essence. The deepest light of your consciousness. What was born from the source. And comes throughout time. Learning about love and forgiveness. I come in these times to look for that truth which exists within you. Truth which brings me here in a continuous and patient way until you, on your own, may enter into communion with this truth. And thus you will liberate your Master so that he may continue working in the world with other millions of essences that are lost and far distant from love, from the love of the Source. Place between your hands that essence of light as if it were a newborn. Feel that sphere of light between your hands and at the same time as a sign of imploring let us reconcile ourselves with God. Es 
This is the essence that is within you. And that seeks the path of return to the heart of the Creator. See how God created your essence with immense love, with eternal sweetness, unmeasurable compassion. This is the essence that must return to the source with the mark sign of redemption, saying yes to forgiveness and to the divine mercy. With these millions of essences, your Master and Lord, Jesus Christ, has been working with them throughout time. You are not only matter, you are also energy, which comes from the source. And that once deviated its path, so that in these times you could refine it, you could refine the path of love and redemption. I come to conceive in your essences the grace of renovation of mutual service, of an extreme charity, an infinite consideration for others. With this essence that God has given you, which is fragile and sensitive, which is simple, and pure. Return, companions, to the school of love, because love will heal you. The love of God will save you. And soon you will be dignant children of God, meriting his infinite mercy, tireless servers, which never put their arms down and always say yes to the divine hierarchy. Feel between your hands your divine essence. Feel how the angels and archangels contemplate your inner dwellings. Believe that it is possible to surpass everything. through love, through the love that today my spirit sows in your essences to give you again the spiritual life and the eternal union with the Creator. And just as your essences prostrate themselves before the Almighty, placing themselves at his foot, at his feet,
Thus, today, I want companions that each part of your beings may prostrate before God as an act of reconciliation, of forgiveness, and of healing. And now, Father, you see what I come to look for from time to time, what you have created in your image and likeness of your existence. Adonai, Adonai, Your son implores for these essences. And for all the essences that are distant from you. And just as you are in heaven, Father, may you be on earth. And when I return, surrounded by your glory and your power. All the essences of the world may live their last step towards forgiveness. Emmanuel, Emmanuel hear the voice of your son which was once on the cross. For all the essences of the world, for all those who fell in the abyss, Hear the voice of your son, Adonai, Emmanuel, and Abba. Prostrating at your feet, eternal Father, I offer my body my blood, my soul, and my divinity. For the essences that should be with you today to serve you and honor you. I offer you, Father, my sacred heart, for the ungrateful hearts, I offer you my spirit, so that you may be present in everything that exists and lives, in everything that breathes. Thank 
para que se borre la célula del mal. So that the cell of evil may be erased, so that light may be reborn, the light of your divine consciousness, Adonai. Eli. 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 Hear the voice of your son. That with great expiation and mercy dissolves mistakes, disunion, and unlove. So that your plan may triumph on this planet. We all prostrate before you, beloved Creator, because you have breathed and you have created life, because you felt and the creatures emerged because you thought and you donated without restrictions your universe so that forever and ever we may glorify glorify you and honor you supplicate to you and thus we may be in communion with your spirit with your immaterial spirit pour your graces over these essences Pour your love Sobre estas vidas. over these lives A fin de que se cumpla, Adonai. so that project. your project may be fulfilled, Adonai, y las almas se redimen. and the souls may be redeemed y vivan. and may live until the end of their days within your peace. Today I water this tree which was drying and see how love transforms everything, it makes everything reflourish. Everything resprouts and flowers. Because I have not allowed its essence to die. But in the balm of my love, I have nurtured it with my spirit. May those that were dead be joyful. And may those that expected a grace be happy because I will not tire. I will not tire until I reach what I expect from your essences. Love one another. 
as I loved you up to the last moment on the cross. And when you do not love yourselves, when you do not unite, remember me on the cross. Everything that I suffered for you to the end of your lives. That you may gather strength, valor, courage to be able to love beyond yourselves. May the birth of the new Figueiras be fulfilled. May the seeds of brotherhood flourish because the all-powerful has listened to his son and the angels have poured their graces in the depth of your beings. Today, the writing is fulfilled. You will see the Son of God coming among the clouds. The breath of His Spirit will vivify your consciences and evil will be dissolved because the love of the sacrificed heart of Jesus will triumph until the new earth. May the knots of human separation be undone. May love and fidelity return because the Father of mercy has heard the voice of the Redeemer. Place your hands over your heart so that you may feel each day this mystery which is no longer a mystery but simple, the simple love of your Redeemer that comes to remake all things. Because when I fell with the cross three times, I promised the Father that I would renew all things. And blessed will be those who allow themselves to be renewed by me without fearing changes. Because what God wants to give you is his heart so that it may live within you essentially and eternally. Let us celebrate this act because your sins and your faults were forgiven. The high priest has come to celebrate 
the reparation communion so that you may remember every day to fulfill the promise of being a part of my love and expressing it at each moment. We hear the trumpets of the angels that sing, that sound to announce the divine word and return and to institute once again in this place the Holy Eucharist, the perpetual triumph of love and life of your Master and Lord, Jesus Christ. And today at my feet, I do not only have the holy women who anointed my body, my flagellated body in the tomb, together to Mary, my mother, and Mary Magdalene. But I also have my feet to those that did not recognize me, that lived miracles and converted at the foot of the cross. When my blood burst from the, my side and my water penetrated the depths of the earth, to renew the project of the Creator. May your essences unite in the original essence in my divinity, in the second person of God, the Son, the firstborn the only one, the Redeemer. And may those essences that live and shine within you help you to live the changes at the end of these times. Only love will make you free. And when you are not in love, nor in truth, call me. I will give you the strength to love just as I loved to the last moment on the cross. And as an act of reparation and healing for the transubstantiation of the water, of the bread and the wine, and of your essences. Today I will ask for a song which reflects the love which I had for you in the cavalry. Christ, Calvary, the symbol of this song may help you to have the same strength and the same courage, the same valor that your Master and Lord had up to the last moment expiring on the cross for all of you.
cuando no se consigan humillar, arrodíllense. When you are not able to humble yourselves, kneel. Cuando no se consiga la apaciguar. When you cannot be pacified, place your face on the ground. Cuando no sean humildes. When you are not humble. Colóquense en cruz, en el suelo. Place yourselves on the floor as a cross and I will help you to transform what is not transformable, to liberate what resists and you will feel the fire of my love in your hearts. Just as the holy women did up to the last moment, surpassing all tests, all obstacles, to be close to the sacrificed Son, to the Lamb of God, that which takes the sin from the world. And, and before we listen to the song that makes my heart humble, because in truth, I say to you, be in me so that I may be in you. I remember the supper and the acute moment of the communion with the apostles and all the souls present 2,000 years ago in Jerusalem. When I took the bread and I thanked God for the sacrifice, saying, take and eat all from it, for this is my body. The essential body of your Lord, which will surrender for you, for the forgiveness of sins. And in the same way, I took the chalice, giving thanks to the Creator for the sacrifice. I said, Take and drink. Drink from this chalice, my chalice, the chalice of the new alliance, blood which will be poured for you for the forgiveness of all faults. And at that moment, the Holy Trinity, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descended and instituted the Eucharist. Today I ask you, Adonai, do not let your holy tree die, tree so similar to where once you showed yourself so small and humble to your creatures that the same spirit and the same fire which penetrated in the conscience of Moses may enter today the consciousness of those that instruct and guide your flock so that you may so that your love and immensible love may always triumph. Amen.